Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy. I'm at CloseOutExplosion.com. Hope you're having an amazing day today. I'd like to give you some tips on how your website can beat Amazon. Now, Amazon is a tremendous, tremendous company. And now, while you might not be able to have the same profit or the same sales as Amazon, you can follow certain strategies that will allow you still to make money even when you're competing with Amazon. So strategy number one, what I would recommend to you is to look for closeout products. The reason is on Amazon, most of the sellers are either the brands themselves, people buying from the brands, and they're selling the products on a pretty regular basis. So for instance, someone might be selling a Calvin Klein dress or Calvin Klein might be selling that dress and it's being sold off, I should say off the regular wholesale price, meaning there's a wholesale price, people are either buying it from that wholesale price and then marking it up, or if it's Calvin Klein selling it, they're gonna sell it at a price that is competitive, but at the same time, they're not gonna, they're not gonna undercut their own sales. So if Calvin Klein sells a dress at their own stores for $80, and if they sell it to, on a wholesale basis to a department store for $50, they're not gonna sell that dress for under $50. But if you buy Calvin Klein dresses as closeouts, you're gonna have the opportunity, as long as you buy it for less than $50, to sell the dress for less than $50. In other words, you're gonna be able to sell the dresses on your website for less than Calvin Klein is selling the same dress on Amazon. Now, how do you find the closeouts? So you can look for department store overstock. You can look for clearance sales that are going on at department stores. And what you could actually do, which I think is pretty clever, is look for coupons that'll give you an additional sale, only shot by the clearance section. And then, of course, you might not be able to get, let's say, 100 Calvin Klein dresses, but cumulatively, you could get enough merchandise to sell on your website, so you'll be able to sell the website at a low enough price and still sell it below what Amazon is selling it for and still potentially make a good amount of money. Another thing you could do is you could come to businesses like my closeout business, where I myself buy overstock from department stores, I buy overstock from the brands, I'll buy stores when they go out of business, I'll buy out all their inventory, or I'll try to buy out all their inventory. You could come to my business, buy the merchandise from me at below the regular wholesale price, and then you could sell it on your own website for either the wholesale price or slightly below the regular wholesale price. You could even sell the merchandise at slightly above the regular wholesale price, and as long as the brands and the designers are selling their merchandise on Amazon for above their wholesale price, which I, I'm sure that's what they're doing because they don't want to undercut their other retail and their other sales channels, then you'll still be competitive. Now, another way to beat Amazon is to take the merchandise and to actually personalize the merchandise. What do I mean by that? So let's say you buy a dress for me and you buy a beautiful, beautiful Tahari dress and you might decide to get some, some fashion jewelry, accessorize that dress. In other words, you're gonna modify the merchandise you're buying, make it unique, and then you're gonna be able to have a product that other people don't have in the marketplace. Another, now, before you do that, make sure that you legally can do it. Make sure that you know in the market that you're operating, you're allowed to do it, that Amazon or your own website allows you to do it, depending where you're selling. But if you are selling on your own website and you take clothing, let's say you buy, here's another approach. Let's say you buy clothing that's basically it's generic clothing. There's no brand on it or it's a fashion label. You take that clothing, you modify that clothing, make it more exciting. Either you could maybe have a, a drawing on it, paint it a certain color, put some accessories on it, make it unique. And that's a way to beat Amazon because now you have a unique product that Amazon doesn't have. Another way to do it is create clothing for yourself, create products for your own sales, for your own website. You could source products from China and what you do is you would actually submit your own designs. That's actually two different things I mentioned. One is you could, of course, source products from China that other people are not selling on Amazon and have those products on your website. And now you have a product that Amazon sellers or Amazon themselves isn't selling. Another approach is to have merchandise designed specifically for you, for your own label, for your own brand, and then go ahead and get that merchandise produced. Now you have that merchandise, you own it. It's your own brand, your own design your own label, and now you sell it on your website. And that merchandise will not be available on Amazon because it's your own merchandise. I right, hope you enjoyed this video. My website is closeoutexplosion.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.